praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read proverbs chapter 3 from the king james version bible and we meditate on the word of god let us pray let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight lord jesus christ lead us guide us bless us and be with us amen proverbs chapter 3 benefits of wisdom my son do not forget my law but let your heart keep my commands for length of days and long life and peace they will add to you let not mercy and truth forsake you bind them around your neck write write them on the tablet of your heart and so find favor and high esteem in the sight of god and man trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths do not be wise in your own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil it will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones honor the lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine my son do not despise the chastening of the lord nor detest his correction for whom the lord loves he corrects just as a father the son in whom he delights happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding for her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than fine gold she is more precious than rubies and all things all the things you may desire cannot compare with her length of days is in her right hand in her left hand riches and honor her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace she is a tree of life to those who take hold of her and happy are all who retain her the lord by wisdom founded the earth by understanding he established the heavens by his knowledge the depths were broken up and clouds dropped down the dew my son let them not depart from your eyes keep sound wisdom and discretion so they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck then you will walk safely in your way and your foot will not stumble when you lie down you will not be afraid yes you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet do not be afraid of sudden terror nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes for the lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught be kind to others do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do so do not say to your neighbor go and come back and tomorrow i will give it when you have it with you do not devise evil against your neighbor for he dwells by you for safety sake 
do not strive with a man without cause if he has done you no harm do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways for the perverse person is an abomination to the lord but his secret counsel is with the upright the curse of the lord is on the house of the wicked but he blesses the habitation of the just surely he scorns the scornful but gives grace to the humble the wise shall inherit glory but shame shall be the legacy of fools amen amen here ends the reading of probs chapter 3 as we saw the benefits of wisdom also be kind to others as the probs gives us the guidance and also the wisdom for our daily life it is very great that we have the bible the manna to our soul the road map of life and also as the psalmist says in psalm 42 verse 2 my soul thirst for thee for the living god the word is true beloved let us always make it a point to read the bible to pray every day as we eat our food let us also meditate on the word of god take out at least half an hour from the 24 hours and read the bible jesus christ will speak to you for he is the god of the living not the dead and all live to him as we read in luke 20 verse 38 and also for our daily life we will get the wisdom as we read the probs there are 31 probs let us read one prob every day and we will get the wisdom and also the guidance yes and jesus christ is present with you and me beloved we are not alone in this world for the word says in deuteronomy 31 verse 6 do not be afraid do not be frightened do not be afraid for mighty god is there with you and me yes he will never leave us nor forsake us the same word is there in joshua 1 verse 9 jesus christ is the way the truth and the life beloved he is the way there is no other way he is the truth yes you will know the truth and the truth will set you free john 8 verse 32 is free every soul is searching for the truth isn't it what is the truth yes the truth is jesus christ is the way the truth and the life yes and also the word is life the word is spirit beloved john 6 verse 63 and the word is fire the word is hammer which will break the rock into pieces as we read the mighty word from jeremiah 23 verse 28 and 29 and he who speaks the word let him speak it faithfully hallelujah yes the word says to you and to me 365 times in the bible it is written fear thou not yes it is true beloved for a mighty god jesus christ is present with you and me at every second every moment maybe our loved ones may depart by way of death by way of sickness but jesus christ is the resurrection and the life and he who believes in him though he dies he shall live mark the words though he dies he shall live as we read in john 11 verse 25 so wipe away those tears my dear sister my dear brother my dear listener my dear children my dear youth for jesus christ says to you and to me in revelation 7:10 he is our salvation and also he will wipe away our every tear he will lead us to the living waters and also he will be our shepherd isn't that wonderful we have the psalm 23 psalm that is the medicine for our depression for a sorrow for a sickness for a comfort a beautiful psalm and also it's a medicine for coming out of all kind of problems psalm 23 says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want 
he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Yes, beloved, Lord Jesus Christ is present with you and me. He is a guide even unto death. We read in Psalm 48, verse 14 is true. And he's promised us, he is with us till the end of the age, because he has all power and authority. The word is true, Matthew 28. And even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? We are the children of God, the friends of God, and also we are the ambassadors of Christ. Yes, as Jacob wrestled with God and man, and he was called Israel. Yes, we read in Genesis 32, verse 28. Yes, let us have the zeal to also be close to our Lord Jesus Christ and put up all our requests to him. Let us meditate on his word as Jacob did not leave God. As we see that in the New Testament, in the book of Luke, the illustration which Jesus Christ gave. And we see that there is a lawyer and the widow. And the word says, as the widow troubleth me, I will avenge her. Such should be a zeal. We should ask a living God, whatever is our request, whatever is our personal request, whether it must be for a job, for the financial breakthrough in business, whether it is for the education of the children or wisdom for the peace, Jesus Christ will provide all our needs. For he is our Yahweh Ire. God will provide. Genesis 22 verse 14 is true, beloved. Genesis 22 verse 6. Yes. Genesis 22 verse 8 is true. God will provide. Hallelujah. I and my father are one. John 10 verse 30 is true. For he is, Jesus Christ, is the light of the world. John 8 12. He is the living waters. John 4 10. And also, yes, he is the Alpha and the Omega. Revelation 1 8. Yes, we see in the book of Revelation, Several times it is written, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Yes, Jesus Christ knows our past, present and future. For the word is true, it says, yes, the eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping a watch on the evil and the good. Proverbs 15 verse 3. Yes, when we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, he will take care of our past, present and future. We may be sinners we may have done things wrong. Jesus Christ came in this world, not for the righteous, but sinners for repentance. Sinners like me, he came for. And also, he forgives us our sins. The nature of a God is revealed. As we read in Exodus 34, it says, it says that he is a God full of love, compassion, mercy, abounding in grace, and he forgives our sins. Yes, and also, he is a God of truth. Yes, Exodus 33 Verse 14 says, which is the answer for our every problem. The word says, my presence shall go with thee and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. The word is true, beloved. Yes, only believe. Mark 5 verse 36 is true. Come what may, had hard days, sad days, good days, bad days, days of plenty, days of famine. Let us trust the Lord at all times. Psalm 62 verse 8. For all my springs come from thee is true. Psalm 87, verse 7. Yes, let us put all our burden on the cross. The word is true. Casting all your cares on the Lord, upon the Lord, for he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. Remember, we are the chosen generation. We are the set apart and also we are the royal priest. Yes, 1 Peter 
to 9. Yes, beloved, let us walk by faith, for faith comes by hearing, and hearing, yes, by the word of God. As we read in Romans, the book of Romans, hallelujah. And all these things we are more than conquerors. Remember, Romans 8, 37. Yes, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. Psalm 34, verse 19. I am his witness, beloved. Only believe, this word came to me, where everything turned to be futile, worthless in life. This words came living. The Lord said to me, do not fear, only believe. Mark 5, verse 36. I trust it, and the words came true. Yes, the word is living, beloved. Yes, try it. There is no feast required, no kind of sacrifice required. We have to just, it's so simple, we have to only believe. Mark 5, verse 36. And also, a mighty God can change our past, present and future. He will change our nature. All our anger, wrath will go away. We will be a new man, new woman, as we surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. Ask for the Holy Spirit, for it has been given to us as a guide, which will help us to discern the right and the wrong. Yes, the gifts and the fruits of Holy Spirit. Galatians 5.22 And also we read in 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9 The fruits of Holy Spirit, peace, love, joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, mercifulness, patience and self-control. And also the gifts of Holy Spirit, that is the wisdom, the knowledge, the also the faithfulness, the gift of Holy Spirit to prophecy, to also perform the miracles, gift of healing, the gift of discerning the spirits and also the gift of speaking in tongues. Yes, an interpretation of the tongues. Everything God will give us as he wills. As we read in verse 11, yes, beloved, we have to just ask, we have to believe and we will receive it. It's so simple. Mark 11 verse 24. Hallelujah. Yes, let us walk in the light as Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Let us grow in the word and also meditate on the word. For he who fears the Lord will prosper. Proverbs 28 verse 25 is true, beloved. Everything is there for you and me. Yes, the maker of heaven and earth is a loving father. Yes, as we read in Psalm 121, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From which does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is a keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. Yes, beloved, be encouraged. As we wake up in the morning, let us thank our living God for his faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning. As we read in Psalm 92, verse 2. And also, remember, he is the father of the fatherless and the defender of the widows. Psalm 68, verse 4, 5, 6. His name is Yah, and also, he will set the bound into prosperity and also the single in the families. Yes, isn't that wonderful? We are his clay and he is a potter. Isaiah 64, verse 8. Be encouraged, my dear brother, sister, and also always seek the counsel of the Lord. One we read in Chronicles 14, verse 10. How can we do that? By reading the Bible. Jesus Christ will speak to you. Yes, it is true, beloved. He will speak to you. Underline the word, the words, put the date and the time, and Jesus Christ will bless you. Let us wear the armor of God as we wake up in the morning, that is, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. Hallelujah! Let us be ready, beloved. For the devil is prowling outside a house, and wrestles the devil, and he will flee from you. As we read in James 4, verse 7, Seize the day, be victorious in life. Let us pray for those who are in the sickbed. Lord Jesus Christ, touch my brothers and sister children who are in the sickbed, and every listener who is on the sickbed. Touch them, bless them, and also heal them. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, for with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. Isaiah 53, verse 5. And you took our infirmities and carried our diseases. As we read in Matthew 
8 verse 17. Bless the children, youth with wisdom, for we quote thy word, you are the fountain of wisdom, Proverbs 9 10, and also James 1 verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God, that give it to all men, liberally, and abradeth not. Hallelujah. Yes, bless my every listener, for you are God, full of love, compassion. Yes, and you love us, and you have loved us. Help us to love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. The first commandment, and love our neighbor, as we read in Luke 10, 25-27, and we shall live. The words are true. Thank you for this time to pray. This prayer we ask in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Be blessed today and every day, my dear brother, sister, my dear listener, my dear children, for Jesus Christ is there with us. Remember the word. Yes, he will not leave us as orphans. John 14, verse 18. For all your prayer requests, do send us an email. We will pray for you. And also, as the Lord is guiding you, you can send us your tithes, free will offering, thanks offering, as this is the mission for the blind. Arise and shine is the word for you and me. Isaiah 60, verse 1. Do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. Yes, remember, the word says to you and to me, My grace is sufficient for thee. Jesus Christ is saying to you and to me, And my power, my strength, is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 Be blessed today and every day. God